Let's discuss the treatment of an acute paracetamol overdose, but with modified release paracetamol. We're going to break this down into three different sizes of overdose because the plan is slightly different depending on how much someone has taken. If someone has taken an overdose of modified release paracetamol, but it's less than 10 grams or less than 200 milligrams per kilo, then you just need to do two paracetamol levels that are at least four hours in after ingestion and four hours apart from one another. So for example, you could do it four hours and eight hours after ingestion. If either of the levels are above the paracetamol nomogram treatment line, then you need to start NAG. But if both levels are below the line on the nomogram, you don't need to give any NAG. The next size of overdose we're going to talk about is between 10 and 30 grams of modified release paracetamol, or 200 to 500 milligrams per kilo. You should give charcoal to these patients any time up to the first four hours after ingestion. And you should then start NAC immediately, regardless of the paracetamol levels. So you don't need to wait for bloods back on, in this case. You just start the NAC. Then you send your two paracetamol levels, again, four hours apart from one another and four hours after ingestion. But you still complete the NAC, even if both levels are below the line. So this is not... Uh, example of an overdose where you will stop the NAC if the levels come back below the line. And I'll explain why we're even doing levels in a minute. So we're really doing levels to see if either of your paracetamol concentrations are double the line on the treatment nomogram. And if that's the case, then you double the NAC in the second bag. Then finally, for very large overdoses of modified release paracetamol, so greater than 30 grams or greater than 500 milligrams per kilo, you complete double NAC. So you, you, you do the two bag regimen and you double the strength of the NAC in the second bag, again, regardless of what the levels show. But before the end of your N-acetylcysteine, you repeat the paracetamol level and it has to be less than 10. Um, and similarly, you repeat the ALT, and that has to be less than 50 or decreasing if it was elevated. And if you fail to meet either of those criteria, then you need to continue NAG. And the reason for this is essentially that people that have taken modified release paracetamol overdoses have historically not done quite as well as people have taken immediate release paracetamol. And it's probably because there's something about the the nomogram and the way we risk stratify patients that means they are were not quite getting enough NAC in the first 20 hours after ingestion and they might have quite a prolonged absorption phase of the drug from their gut. So it's safer to give them extra bags of NAC and continue the infusion until you have cleared the paracetamol and there is a much lower chance of hepatotoxicity developing.